What's going on everybody? Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. Uh, guys, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I had a great one. And I am thankful for all my uh, viewers and subscribers and also the members of the membership site. Um, to show my appreciation for you, I got something for you all here. I got this little uh, Arduino set up, and I'm going to show you something in just a second. After I tell you about the uh, on the membership site, we do have the Snap-on Class course up there. It's a very uh, basic course, but it goes over to points that I see technicians having trouble with all the time. So be sure to check that out. It's $10 a month to be a member of the core, and you have access to basically all the material I put up there. Lots of great stuff. And the Snap-on course, I think it's about 32 minutes long. It's not super long. It's broken down into little sections, uh, little pieces at a time, so you don't get overwhelmed. But that being said, if you guys remember that Mercedes-Benz crankshaft sensor I had a while ago, the 2015 uh, GLA 250 that had a piece of rust on a magneto-resistive sensor causing an extra tooth on the sensor, and it's, the shop had a snap-on scope, but they weren't able to capture the fault. They didn't see it because they were looking at just the uh, scope side of things, not the graphing multimeter. Uh, I made a demonstration board or a Arduino project right here. And just so you guys know, uh, I have the sketch available, basically the, the code that I had to go through and write, which isn't a big deal, but you know it's pretty simple stuff, but it's all uh, you know true to the real vehicle. All this is up on the website handsonautotraining.com. You don't have to pay anything to get here. You go over to resources and then click on links right here. And once you click on the links, you scroll down and here is the Arduino Mercedes crank sensor sketch file. You click on this. If you don't already have the uh, uh, Arduino IDE, you have to get that. You need to get a Arduino board as well. That is uh, this guy and a breadboard would be helpful uh, to complete the sketch or to complete the project. And then you can go ahead and you can see the sketch here. This is just telling uh, this basically how the microcontroller should work. Nothing fancy. I'm going to probably make a better video more in depth on that for the membership site. But right now, uh, the snap on stuff is up there. But let's talk about this real quick. So we had that crank sensor that had a little glitch. It had an extra tooth and a snap on scope. It would be very hard to see. Not impossible, but very difficult to see. So check this out. I'm going to introduce default and you can see clear as day. This is the frequency graphing on the snap-on scope. Just go to graphing multimeter, uh, set up, hit the auto setup function right over here, and this is what you get. If I have the fault, you can see clear as day that we have the fault there. Now let's take a look over here at the uh, uh, the Pico scope. This is the Pico scope. Uh, what do you got? We're using a 2205A scope here, and uh, we're running the scope here. I'm running this and capturing. I'm going to hit the stop button, and you can see if I move my uh, rulers between the uh, missing teeth right here, we do have 58 teeth. Let me go ahead and introduce the fault. I'm running the scope and pushing that button on the Arduino controller. And you'll see here, clear as day, you can see we've captured the fault. So if I go back on my waveform buffer, you can see right there this increase. Let me drag this down. You can see that increase in that frequency math channel. And if I go between my curse, uh, between my missing teeth from my rulers, you'll see we got 59 teeth. And we can just go ahead and zoom in here. We might be able to see it with our, there you go. You can see that fault clearly. But I got to tell you, with the snap-on scope, not impossible to see that extra little tooth, but it's not something I would ever find. So I want to make sure you guys know on the website, not the uh, membership site or nothing, just for free, hands-on auto training, go to resources, links. You can download this sketch. Put it together, check it out. If you're not a member of the Hands-On Auto Training membership site, the core subscription, like I said, $10 a month, you'd have access to this uh, Snap-on course that I just put together. I think it's pretty good. It's not super long. I may add more to it, but I'm just giving you what you need to know. So I hope everybody's doing well. You guys have a great day. We'll see you. Bye-bye.